Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Sne, and uh, today I will be talking uh, a little bit about uh, autism, what are the early signs of autism, and uh, what the parents could do if they think they have a child with uh, autism. So autism is basically, as clinically we usually call it, ASD or autism spectrum disorder. It's uh, a developmental disorder, and uh, it has a lot of um, effects on uh, youth, on the kids, especially with um, how they would like to think, how they like to communicate with others, their interactions with others, um, or how they look at the world. It's completely a different world for them than our world, basically. Um, the, it's very important to understand that autism uh, spectrum disorder is uh, a manifest uh, differently in each individual. So everybody is not the same who is on the spectrum, although they could really have um, common early signs or they could behave in a very common manner. But it does not mean that everybody who is on the spectrum would be the same. Um, so for parents or uh, for individuals who they think that, you know, they have a younger um, person, newborn person in their house, and uh, by the age they're like 18 or 24 uh, months somewhere, if they think that uh, there had been like their improvement or their um, the way they react is different than other kids, then it could be a sign. Um, it could be that, you know, they have uh, trust issues or, you know, they they don't like to make eye contact and stuff like that. We would talk more about that in um, like a couple of more minutes. But um, how you would assess then um, based on your knowledge is that, first of all, you would have to go with the, your instinct as a parent or a caregiver. If you If you have a concern that your child or the child in your care is not reacting the way they should be or the way their age, other kids in the same age group are reacting, then it could be one of the things that you would think or you would consider an assessment by a professional. Uh, so before age, um, many experts, they recommend uh, that you seek assessment for uh, autism before a child's second birthday. And as I said before too, that uh, the assessment could be done between 18 to 24 months uh, for, for any kid. Uh, another thing is that we have to keep an eye on uh, the milestones in a child's development. So what it could mean is that um, if your child is a year old and they are not walking the same way they should be walking, like other kids, then maybe you would want to talk uh, to your doctor or to a developmental specialist. There is um, another thing is uh, regression. That's what we call it in our professional life. If uh, you think the child in your care or your own child has been uh, meeting with developmental milestones, but the experiences are significant loss of skills or regression in social communication, or motor skills. So they could be very good at, uh, let's say, painting, or they could be very good um, at uh, doing a lot of other stuff. But then you see that, you know, they are not able to do other small, small stuff like putting a puzzle together or something, um, again, which their age kids would be normally able to do, but they are not able to do. Another thing which uh, makes it very obvious that why you should be going for an assessment between those 18 and 24 months is if you have a family history of um, somebody on the spectrum in your um, family, especially if it's on the father's side because ASD is transferred from the father's side. Uh, if your kid is going to a daycare or they are going to early education or somewhere like that. If those people are raising concerns, please do not hesitate in contacting um, an expert who would be able to guide you and who would be able to assess the child from there on.